thought I'd give another little, uh, little thing on the, uh, F, on the uh, F-19. If you'll see this, it's right near a nickel. But I found lately that if you find a jumpy one like that, or a scratchy signal, quite often that's going to be a, what we call a square tail. So, I just already dug this up, so, but I knew what it was when I was coming up. It's a square tab, so. Let me double check and make sure there's nothing there. Something that might have been confusing the signal. Nope, that was it. See, a scratchy signal will separate the square tab from a nickel. So, I knew when I got it there wasn't going to be a nickel, but it was too close for me to pass in case it was being masked. We'll get to see if my previous theory with nickels work. See, that's 56, 57, 58. And it's not going above 58. So, odds on that should be a nickel. Let's just try it out. I don't know, it could be big, let's see. Hoping this might be point size. Okay, let's see here. We will see if this is coin size. Should be a nickel. Voila. See that continuous dig? And it is a nickel. See, I got a 56, 57, 58. But it hit 58 and would rarely go, if any, above 59. It's a nickel. Hey everybody, this is Texas Tiger Digs again, and I thought we would put a stake in this vampire's heart. This is today's, uh, this is today's roundup. Not for just today, but last, uh, that's from Sunday. Uh, did not turn out to be a very good week for detecting. I think I told you earlier that I ended up having to do some, uh, do some training. Some corporate training. So I was in corporate training Hades for a couple of days, so that cut down on my uh, my, my uh, week's hunt severely. So let's go over what we've got here. Uh, you know, I went out to the uh, went out to the new park I scouted, and you know it, it's a fresh park. Doesn't does not look like it's period's been hit by many if any detectors. So got a pretty good pretty good count. Um, maybe an hour and a half, two hours there on uh uh, on Sunday, uh, and a couple of couple of other stops in some small parks, but for a very short periods of time. So the majority of this was in the, the new park I found. So we did, you know, still still clocking up that clad. You know, I've got uh, what, seven quarters here, uh, two dimes, and uh, that appears to be uh, nine pennies. Now that was a, a situation where I was using the AT Pro mostly. Uh, with the smaller coil because I, I was in a few trashy areas and it, it really it really paid off really did a very good job uh, you know, it, it, In fact, it was better in this particular set of circumstances than the dais uh, Very simple to use very simple to uh, to uh, to get a good reading on and since I was in this new park I didn't need any complications and I also pulled a few pull tabs these weren't the pull tabs I pulled it's just an example of uh, I've, I've got this down to this point. I tried to pull 10 to 15 pull tabs an hour. So that means that I'm making forth enough effort to find gold, in my opinion. Now, it doesn't mean I won't be pulling that 10 to 15 pull tabs an hour in the same park for, for many, many days. So I'm not going to let much slip through. But basically, I'm pulling pull tab signals. Hopefully they're not pull tabs all the time, but uh, so that's about how I'm working that. All right, uh, my next my next trip out was uh, one of my uh, my weekly hunts, and I went out uh, I went out with the uh, the F19, and the F19 did a very good job. 
Uh, and I did about an hour and a half hunts for that day. I've got uh, two more quarters. I have another dime. And then I began to clock up the nickels here. Uh, I began to clock up the nickels a bit here. Because, uh, you know, in some of these parks, I have I have affected, not that I've, uh, I've detected the amount, but I have affected the number of high conductivity targets. So I'm hitting a lot more nickels, and that's really the way I want to do it. So this is the two days and some more pennies. And that's a crusty zinc. Let me double, let me double check, no crusty zincs here. I think that was it. So that was a good, and that was the F-19. The other, I also use the F-19. Uh, on, a, on a couple of more days here. This, this is actually two days. Now these were the two days I was at my training. And my training is uh, my average commute to where I work is about 10 to 15 minutes. And my training is about a, was about 45 minutes to an hour away according to traffic and I was in rush hour traffic most of the time. So my hunts were just were minuscule. I had about 10 or 15 minutes after I got home before it got dark. But, another play at quarter. Another dime. A couple of more nickels. Like I said, I'm beginning to really concentrate on the mid-tones. Trying to find that next piece of gold. So, the nickels and their nickels, the nickel numbers are increasing. So, that was about it. And I've got here, these are a couple of dimes. These were not, these are very clean dimes. They weren't surface vines, but they were under the grass. So there's still the texture finds. One more dime. Then we've got a more destroyed penny. And another regular penny. So not a bad. Now today was also a very, very short day. Had to get back in the swing of work and then it was a busy work day. I had to come from behind. Found my first uh, uh, you know my four my first uh, uh, door uh, piece here. Uh, why am I pulling a uh, pulling a blank here? Uh, so uh, you, I know you relic hunters found these hinges all the time, but it's unusual to find them in my parts. But this is this appears to be a big hinge, and a pretty old hinge too. You know, this the park used to be farmland, and this might go back to the days of the farm. So that's pretty cool. And I found a full size set of sunglasses, but I got this part out. But you know, the condition the soil is in, as dry as it is now, I would have had to destroy a lot of grass and ground cover to, to get the rest of it out. So I just left it where it is. It's just not worth it to destroy and to endanger my detecting or the next guy's detecting just to get another another half of this broken uh, lens and the, and the etc. So and then I found of course another slide. This is a wolf slide. Many 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 slides. And uh, since it was a short day I've only got a couple of dimes. But I did manage to nail down a couple more nickels, so you know I'm out there digging those, uh, digging those uh, mid-tones, and a couple more pennies. So that was that was my that was my uh, counts for the day, and so uh, you know not a bad clad count considering I you know most of my de my detecting was seriously affected by by the needs of the worker day world, but uh, so we got so we got us uh, oh we got us uh, about. Two bucks, two fifty and quarters, and we got ninety cents and dimes, three forty, three fifty, sixty, seventy-five with the nickels, and I think we probably got here. It's another dime. And we probably got an additional, let's just say, 15 cents. So it's not a bad clad count for an abbreviated, abbreviated detecting week. And uh, this is uh, the slide, of course, and I'll put that among my collection. And I got, you know, this, this is just a fear to pull tab that I pulled today, which is about half of what I pulled today. So I imagine I pulled about 35, 40, 45 pull tabs during the week. Still out there looking for the gold. In any case, uh, you know, you see, a, you, you'll see the, uh, the uh, I found a couple of things with the F-19. I made a prediction on how to find, how to, how to separate uh, nickels from square tabs, and it's still working. If you, if you get a reading on the F-19, 
and it's a and it comes up 56 57 58 56 57 58 or hits 58 multiple times and never goes above that maybe the 59 once but back to 58 chances are you're looking at a nickel but if you get something that goes 56 57 58 59 60 you're almost virtually always looking at a non-nickel I'm not saying it couldn't be gold but more than likely it's a square tab of course so that's all I've got for today you know not the best week but uh, I did learn a few more things, and I've got a few more uh, entries in my uh, in my uh, in my uh, uh, detecting log uh, vlog, and so it was it was a fun week. Uh, after I got through with the uh, with the rush hour madness, it was a fun week. In any case, uh, that's pretty much all I've got. So I will see you uh, next time. Uh, some new stuff has come in. Uh, we'll be coming in tomorrow so it's it's not a new detector but it's a new type of detector I've already had I got rid of the old version I've got the new version and I think it's going to be real helpful so I'll be uh, I won't be doing a box opening because I did buy it used but I will be reviewing what I plan to do with it tomorrow so uh, you have a good day and I will uh, see you tomorrow with some new stuff <laughs>